Norman Sherwood had the distinction of being the first man to be hung in Key West. Sherwood had an altercation with a man named Jones on the 5th of July in 1830. After they were separated, he went away, but returned in an hour with a pistol, avowing his intention of killing Jones. Bystanders interfered and induced him to leave, but he returned shortly, still determined to kill Jones. Mr. John Wilson, who was Sherwood's friend and partner, then stepped up and asked him to give up the pistol. He refused and said he would shoot any man who attempted to take it. Wilson then laid his hand on Sherwood's shoulder and again asked him to give it up, when Sherwood shot him and he died a few minutes later. Sherwood remarked that he regretted Wilson's death, but it was his own fault as he had told him that he would shoot anyone who attempted to take the pistol from him. For he firmly intended to shoot Jones and would allow no man to prevent him. That Wilson had attempted to do this and he shot him, believing he had the perfect right to do so. The prisoner, Sherwood, was defended by attorneys Thurston and Braden. He was found guilty of murder in the first degree and sentenced to death. The place where Sherwood was confined was insecure, and he had several occasions to escape. And being asked why he had not done so, he replied, They want to hang someone for a pattern, and I guess I'll gratify them. And so it was today, December the 10th, 1830, that Norman Sherwood became the first man that was ever hanged in the gallows erected in Key West. And that's what happened today in Key West history. Today in Key West history is brought to you by 43 Keys Media. If you want to learn more about our glorious or grisly past, you can visit 43keys.com. This program, as well as others, are also available as an Alexa flash briefing. In order to enable that, just tell Alexa to play Today in Key West History as your flash briefing. (laughs) 